What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove all built-in Windows 10 apps. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to do it. So first off, let's take a look at what Windows 10 apps are. They come pre-installed in Windows 10 and most of these you're never probably ever going to use. So if you don't want these on the system, you can uninstall them. Unfortunately, not all of these are easy to uninstall. Uh, some of them don't have an uninstall feature, but some of them do. Now you may use Groove Music or other types of uh, apps inside here, and that's okay. If you do, you can leave those on the system. But if you don't use them and you want to remove them, you can use something like 10 Apps Manager from the Windows Club. Pretty nice little tool to have on your USB flash drive. Basically, you can select which ones you want to uninstall and then just uh, click on the uninstall button and it will remove those from your computer. Now you can see it's got a nice uh, graphic user interface here so it makes it nice and easy. You can just click on remove all and it will remove them uh, from the system. Now it does recommend that you create a restore point before you do any of this and all these apps can be reinstalled if you ever want to reinstall them again. It's pretty straightforward. But if you're like me and you don't use a lot of these apps, then you're just going to clog up your system and basically you might want to um, uninstall them. And that's pretty straightforward and easy to do. I'll show you how to do it. Also, I want to show you how to do this inside PowerShell, which is very easy to do inside PowerShell. And I'll show you how to do it inside there as well. I'll leave all of the codes that you can just copy and paste if you want to use PowerShell and uh, you can do that very easy. Or you can make yourself a script if you're more clever enough to do that. You can do if you want to. So let's go ahead and take a look. So these are the list of apps which you can literally run these one by one into a PowerShell or you can remove them all in one go in PowerShell or remove, remove Cortana. It will remove a bunch of other stuff from the system as well. You can see here there's loads of goodies to remove from Windows 10. So let me open up PowerShell here and show you how it works. So basically you just need to copy the command that you need to use to remove. So we'll just basically remove say uh, this Microsoft Bing. Just push enter and it will remove that from the computer. Let's just do one more quick one just to show you. I'll select another one here and copy this and we'll run this in PowerShell and basically push enter and it will remove the Microsoft Office Hub from there as well. Now it depends on what you want to remove. Remember, only remove what you don't need. If you need some of these things, then don't remove them. If you want to remove them all in one go, you can use this command down here. And again, you just paste that into PowerShell like I'm showing you here, push enter, and then a load of text will start flying up on the screen. Don't worry about the red stuff. That means that it's already been removed and it will just show an error code there. But don't worry about that. It's going to start going through and removing all of this from your computer and uh, free up some valuable space. Now, a lot of this stuff is stuff that you don't really need. And the problem is uh, most of the people just leave them on their computer. And personally, I'll just rather get rid of them and remove them from the system. So let me just go ahead and let that do its thing. It does take a little bit of time. As you can see, it's removing quite a bit of stuff here. And uh, once that's done, we can close that off. And let's just take a look in the app section here. I'm going to go to settings, then go back into apps. And you can see there is hardly anything left here. There's a couple of little items in here, uh, VMware tools, which is what I'm using to record this um, actual screencast here. Also, we've got uh, Edge in there and Microsoft. Uh, OneDrive. Now, if you want to remove OneDrive, you can do as well. You can remove that from the system. I'll quickly show you how to do that. I've already blocked all of this other stuff, but I'll show you how to do uh, the OneDrive as well, just in case you want to get rid of OneDrive. Now, you can click on it and uninstall it from here as well, if that's what you want to do. But if you want to completely remove it, I'll quickly show you how to do that with this uh, simple uh, code here. So just copy these codes here. I'll leave these also in the video description for you. Just copy these and they're safe to use. It's just basically task kill. It's killing the, uh, the task of OneDrive.exe and then you just use this code here which will then uninstall OneDrive from your computer. Very simple and easy to do. And with that done, you should have all of those removed from your computer and gain some valuable space back and stop being forced into having stuff that you don't want like Candy Crush and other sorts of apps and programs that you don't need or use 
but if you do use them then leave them well alone and that's pretty much it just a quick tips video for you today pretty busy so i shall see you again for another video real soon my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys got a build video coming up very soon so stay tuned for that bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos